it looks like from what I see, I do not see any <clears throat> availability at this time, any training opportunities available at this time. Okay. Um, for both both the programs. But it if I like call back probably, so. Yeah, but if I call back at a later date it might change, right? Yes, yep, correct. It might it might change at a later date. Um I would yeah, I would just check back at a later time. Um to see if we have anything open and available. Otherwise Welcome to the Recruiter Call channel where we make the call for you. And in today's segment, we're going to be looking at trucking companies that offers CDL training. That means if you don't have your CDLs, these companies will help you get them while at the same time give you a job after you get them. Let's see which companies that offer these CDL training programs are good with you today we're going to be looking at snyder national yes snyder they have a cdl training class if you don't have your cdls snyder will be able to help you get your cdls with two different programs let's find out what those programs are I, I I don't want to take too much of your time. I'm I'm just curious to find out a little bit more about the uh get my CDLs. I'm I'm interested in in you know going through a trucking company to get my CDLs. Okay. Yeah, I can definitely help with that. Yeah, um, Lester. Um there's a couple things. Okay. Uh well I I I'm on the website and I, I'm 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 kind of confused to what what you guys is what what the lingo is. So you guys got a CDL apprentice training and a CDL sponsor training. Which one would I fall up under? Uh, so, um, so the difference between the two, um, the CDL apprenticeship training, the way that one works is Schneider sends you. To directly to one of our training centers to train at um, for about five weeks. The company sponsored, um, essentially that one, Schneider works in partnership with like another truck driving school in your area to uh, you know, to send you to like a truck driving school to get your class A CDL that way. That one usually it's like a four week long process. Uh, that one's only like a four week long. Um, uh, only a four week long program. And then after that, you would also attend like an orientation. So the apprenticeship is kind of what we recommend. It's, it's kind of what we are offering at this current time, I believe. Um, okay. So that's what I would recommend. Okay. But, awesome. So, they, uh, so, all right. So I, I, I will have to, I, I will have to leave out for five weeks. I, I have a job. Do you guys have any weekend class or anything like that or no? Yeah, so that uh, um, on, on that one, we don't. Um, with our CDL apprenticeship program, that one is a five day. It's five days a week that you would be, uh, that you would be attending the, uh, the, the program. It's about eight hours a day. Um, that's on that program. The other one in that case you might be more interested in the other one the other one's a company the company sponsored that one is um it's a little bit more manageable because that one uh you would attend like a truck driving school uh in your a uh, rough uh, that's kind of close to your area or oh. not close but in your area oh, okay so i i i have uh i i got options that pretty much that you see yeah essentially, okay. yeah so you do have options there um with the company sponsored if, if you're looking to still work um that one's kind of what you would be looking at then if you were still looking to work okay okay so the so the apprenticeship uh one so uh where would i have to where would i have to go and am i responsible for getting up there to you guys to get to get started with the with the uh apprenticeship training uh yeah, so uh, let me just take a look to see. Uh, um, I need to make sure that we have some open availability because both of our training programs is really dependent on 
if we have any positions available because both of them are trained to hire. So. Okay. Well, if even if you don't, you, you even if you don't, I still want to know a little bit about it uh, just in case in the future so that I would already know what I'm getting into if you don't have none available yeah. right now. Okay. Yeah, that's, that's not wrong. So, yeah, um, you would just, so for both of them, um, for both of them, what we would need from you, um, our requirements are, number one, are you 21 years or older? Yep. I'm in my 40s. And then, little, and then little, number two, little late to the, little late to the party. <laughs> <laughs> and then, have you ever physically attended a truck driving school before? Uh, no, I haven't. This, this will be my first time. Okay. And then have you held a U.S. driver's license for at least one year? Yes. Yes. I, I've been drive. I, I've been driving since I was 16 and had my license ever since then. Okay. And, and then, um, let me see. so, so, and then the so, last thing that we would need is to have, if you have your class A learner's permit. Okay. I, I don't have that. So I, I would need to get that before I, I come to you guys. Yes, that's correct. We, you would need to get that before you start on our training program. Okay. Would that, would that be out of my pocket or yours? Uh, that would be out of your pocket. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So that means I would have to go to the DMV and get my learner's permit and everything and then bring that with me while I'm getting trained. Now, let me ask you this. Uh, let's say after the program, uh, it's time for me to test out and everything. Would I test out in your state and then come back home and get my license from my state? How would that work? Uh, yeah. So, so with our CDL apprenticeship program, that one you would test at the training site. Um, you would test at our training site. So, the CDL test, you'll have like one week where you where you test for your class A CDL. It will count for your state though, because it goes off of the state um, for your permit. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So, all right, all right. And then, and then with the yeah, with the other program, you're already in state. So, yeah. All right. So with the apprenticeship program, that means I gotta I, I gotta come to you guys wherever the the apprenticeship is is running out of what would the would the uh cost of me getting up there and 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 being held down in the hotel for five weeks would that be out of my pocket or would you guys cover that so yeah so with our cdl apprenticeship program schneider covers that um schneider will cover the travel expense to get you there and then we also will provide you a hotel and then the hotel will also provide two meals per day. Oh, okay. All right. All right. Um, so uh, you guys, so I'm, uh, uh, of course you said it's eight hours a day, five days a week. Um, yeah. Would, would I be, would I, would I be training in a, in a manual or, uh, or uh, automatic? And if I'm training in an automatic, can I test out? in the manual because to my understanding if i test out in the automatic my license will be restricted um so that one i don't know for sure if you would if the uh, um if you would have if you could test out in the manual but here at schneider we only have automatic so our our fleet is 100 percent automatic so you would be testing or learning automatic only okay all right, so how how many chances do I get uh, for the test out? Um, let's say if I don't get it, if if I don't get my, if I don't test out for like twice or something like that, would I still get some? Would I still get some more practice in so I can test out to get yeah. my license? Yeah, you will get you you will get um, more practice in. I believe you have a total chance of. You have three times, I believe you you can take it. Oh, okay, awesome, awesome. All right, um, 
What if? And and thank you. I'm I'm you know I I don't have that many more questions. But what if uh, for whatever reason? Because I'm I'm assuming, like you said, this is this is trained to hire. So I get hired. How long do I gotta? What's my obligations to you guys? To uh, to have my license yeah. to be fully yeah. paid, or some if, yeah, so, if that makes sense. Uh, we don't. Mm-hmm, yeah, so we don't have like a contract or anything here at Schneider. Instead, what we do have is a nine-month financial agreement. It just states if you were to leave Schneider as a company uh, within nine months after you start the training program then you would just have to pay back the tuition. Uh, yeah, that would be, and and then it would be the same for the company-sponsored training program as well, except instead of nine months, it would be 12 months. How how much would I be responsible for if if I don't? Yeah, so the, the tuition would be $2,450. That's for both of them? Uh, the apprenticeship uh, and the sponsor? Yes. So if you do either one uh, and then you um, leave within that within that financial agreement time, it would be $2,450 for both. Oh, okay. I, I, I won't be blacklisted or you guys won't keep my license or anything <laughs> like that if, if, if... No. Oh, okay. No, there won't be anything like that. Yeah, because because uh, it's not like an official contract or anything like that. It's just it's more of like a promissory note that you would have to sign that just states if you leave, you would pay back two thousand four hundred and fifty. All right. Well, thank you very much. This is a lot to swallow, and I I I would definitely. So, how to get how to get started? Uh, would I have to call you back again to find out if it's full or not, or do I got to fill out? some information on the on the website how, how do i get started if i if i want to go through with it yeah if you if you wanted to get started here lesser i um either you can give us a call back if you don't got time right now otherwise i can take a look at it right now to see if we have any openings as well um uh, if you if you want to provide me your zip code i can take a, a quick look to see if we have any openings oh okay well all right four four zero six zero Okay, and you're in Mentor, Ohio? Yep. It looks like from what I see, I do not see any <clears throat> availability at this time, any training opportunities available at this time Okay. Um, for both both the programs. But it if I like call back, yeah, but if I call back at a later date, it might change, right? Yes, yep, correct. It might, it might change at a later date. Um, I would, yeah, I would just check back at a later time um, to see if we have anything open and available. Otherwise, um, you are you are also if if you don't want to wait, you are also free to get your Class A CDL on your own through like a truck driving school of your own choice. And once you come and hire on with Schneider, we can give you tuition reimbursement. Oh, okay, awesome, awesome. All right, cool. Well, thank you very much for the time. I really do appreciate it, and uh. I, I I'll probably see you in about six months or something like that. Check back with you guys then. How's that? Uh, all right, then. You, uh, yep, just give us a call back whenever you want to take a look, okay? Very good, sir. Thank you for your time, man. I really appreciate it. You're welcome. You have yourself a good day, okay, Lester? Woo! Man! Snyder, what you guys think of that one? What you guys think of that one? Now, you got to be in an area. I'm not sure. You know, I just gave him my uh, my Minner uh, zip code and nothing popped up for that. But what do you guys think of the two thousand dollars that you have? That's all you have to pay. Like, that's the least. Amount that I hear so far. So if you get with Snyder and let's say you get your license and let's just say Snyder isn't the move for you and you decide to go to, you know, go somewhere else, 
They won't blacklist you. They won't take your license, but all you got to do is pay them back $2,000. Let's say, for example, you get with a company that offers you a $2,000 sign-on bonus that's paid out in six months. You could just take that money and pay for your license. $2,000. What you guys think of that? Uh, they got two... Uh, programs. One is the apprenticeship program, which is a five week. The, uh, five weeks? That don't sound like it's an accelerated. Sounds like five weeks, eight hours a day. Sounds like you're going to get trained pretty good. Pretty good. And I, I always say that Snyder is like the boot camp of of orientation slash trucking school. So I don't think they're going to slack on training you properly for your CDL. So, but the only thing is they don't train you out of a manual. So your license, of course, will be restricted. And with that said, if you want to get the restrictions off your license, you probably have to go uh, through another program yourself, but of course you have to test out to get your license unrestricted. So no weekend classes. Uh, if you are a, a driver or if you have a job and you don't want to quit that job, then the sponsored side of Snyder will probably be a little bit better for you. You'll be able to go to class on nights, weekends, and as soon as you, con I mean, complete that, get your license, then you'll drive with Snyder. And of course, 12 months promissory, it's not a contract, it's a promissory. They make, they, they get, they have you to sign a, uh, financial agreement, which I forgot to ask them, is is that paid while you is that paid every week while you working for them, and then they take the money back. So make sure you find out about that. Let's continue. Who's next? Who's next? Who's next?